How about we set up our own DLNA server so that we can share and stream all our media across all our devices on our local network? Smart TVs, cell phones, tablets, computers, they all support this and the setup is very simple. All that we need is a nice Microtik router. The better the CPU, the better results you're gonna get. You wanna make sure you have a USB port so they can use an external storage drive. And then you wanna make sure you've updated your device to the very latest RouteOS version. The DLNA uh, server support was introduced in version 7.15. Then you want to prepare your storage drive. So all I gotta do is just plug it in. Next, we want to log on our device. Here we want to go to the IP media section and type add friendly name is just going to be the name of the server. Then pick the interface you want to host the server on. If you have default configuration on your router like I have here, just type bridge and then pick the USB path. Usually it will be just USB one. That's all the configuration we have to do on our router. Next, we can use some software to stream the video. I'll use VLC Media Player, and then I'm gonna go in this playlist section. If it's not shown on VLC, just press Ctrl plus L, and you should get the playlist section. Then scroll down to Local Network, and click on Universal Plug and Play. I can see my Blockbusters server, now, if I click on it, I get my video. And there it is, it's streaming a very high definition video. Let's have a look at the router again. We can see that the Ether2 port is currently streaming about 40, 50 megabits per second. The CPU usage is actually surprisingly low. The bitrate bumped up a little bit to 100, about 120 megabits per second, but the CPU usage is extraordinarily low. So we could have multiple users streaming 4K videos. This file is over three gigabytes in size and it's a video that's only five minutes long. So that is an extraordinarily high bitrate. You can expect something much lower for movies. And still, even with files this big, you can have multiple users streaming them at the same time from a router like this RB5009 without any problems whatsoever. I hope you make use of it and I'll see you next time.